Well, we're closing in, I think, on the last puzzle of this whole mud wagon body rebuild project. Last week, remember, we bent the bows for the top. I do have four that I have selected that are pretty uniform. As I lay them up alongside, this was the initial first three, and then this one was out of the second pair that matches pretty well. I did do a little bit of adjusting, but they're all pretty uniform now. So from the seat base height to the top, generally inside they'll run from 46 to 48 inches. Your two seat extension top buggies, your Surrey tops, generally are in that 46 area. I've done a number of Abbott and Downey Yellowstone Park style coaches. Those tend to be from the seat base to the roof at 48. So somewhere in this 46 to 48 inches is where I need to end up with this top as well. So I'm thinking to attach the top to this front driver's box. The iron is going to come down outside and curve in and probably bolt to this rear driver's box frame in this area here. From the seat base to the seat base of the driver's box, I have it 22 and a half inches, right in 22 and a quarter, so roughly 22 inches. So if I'm going to go up 48 inches, from the seat base up to the top is going to be 26 inches. So my iron, as I bolt it here and come up, I'm going to use this seat base as a calculating number of how far to go up. And to calculate just how tall my iron needs to be that's going to come up to the top that my top framework is going to actually bolt to. So as this comes down and begins to go straight again here from the top of the bow looks like to be I'm guessing maybe in this eight to nine area. These bows are one inch thick so from the inside of this bow I'm thinking I'm going to come down eight inches with a solid panel inside of this framework for this front and rear bow for this top. So I'm going to just kind of mock this up a little bit of, of where this bow would go. If I set this from the top down to 9 inches, that's going to give me an inset from the bottom of this top bow of 8 inches. Then from the picture of this mail coach with the woman standing on the sidewalk unloading the mail bags, if I look at that picture, it looks like there is a lateral that goes from front to back that was going to come in just underneath this inset board here, something like so, and one on each side. So I'm guessing this is kind of the mock-up of what this front bow and rear bow would look like. So then the question is, how do I joint in my leg that comes down to the side of the driver's box and will eventually be down to the rear seat? Where am I going to put that joint work? From the bottom of this inset, and then I have a two inch piece that's going to come down from my lateral. Somewhere in here, I don't want my joint work to be up in that. So I'm thinking maybe I'm going to do a lap joint kind of in here and maybe four inches. I could do it that way and I could do the converse the other direction. I'm not sure if that would really make a difference. And then my iron work is going to come up. I'm thinking just to this point here, I'll have a taper on the end. I'm going to use three eighths by one and a half iron taper it out so I'll have a bolt that will go through this joint and possibly a bolt that will go through this joint and then on down to the driver's box or to the rear passenger seat. So overall length of my bow looks like maybe 15 inches. I have 19 overall length so I have plenty of room here. 
I think I'll trim these off at 15 inches in length. So I'm gonna lay a straight edge out here so I can get a good measurement for this other leg. If I measure across my bows at that point, I'm at 53 inches, which that's pretty acceptable, especially for the seat arm rails for the rear seat. The arm rails themselves on this rear seat are 49 and a half. So the irons for my rear seat are going to bolt to the seat floor, come up, and then they'll come out to a 90 and then up. And it looks again from the picture of this stage that's unloading the mail that the wood will sit inside the metal framework as it comes up. There's a pretty clear picture of this coach from the rear view on the right hand side that seems to indicate that this upright wood is on the inside of the iron. And that the iron, it's not real clear, but it looks like it ends right in this area here. So that'll allow a bolt to go through this lateral framework as well as my lap joint. So that's where I'm kind of drawing these conclusions from on possibly how this top was built back then. So for the iron on the rear seat, it's going to be fastened in front here of the rear seat back. So it's going to have to angle back just a bit in order for the rear edge of the top to be back over behind the back of the seat to allow for a drip rail that will clear the back seat. So this one won't be able to sit vertical straight up and down. It'll actually have to have a little rear lean to it as it comes out somewhat in this pattern. So I'm trying to calculate the iron for the front driver's seat. I'm going to come down about 11 inches to this point. Well, I'm going to be 26 inches from the top down to the base of the seat. So from the base of the seat up, that iron needs to be in the area of 17 inches. And then it'll be the additional whatever it takes to curve into the driver's box and then come down. Maybe six inches. Then I'm gonna come out and then bend up to the top. So I'll have another 10, 11 inches in there possibly. I'll probably allow a foot six inches, another six inches to come out, go up 17 inches. And when I get this kind of fitted in, I'll do my final adjustment for that top height. Then for my rear seat, I want to end up with 48 inches overall, but I'm going to come down nine inches and then come down to my seat base and I have to allow for this curl out and up. These are a little more right angle bends. On the end of this iron as it comes down, makes a bend over, and instead of running straight out, that puts the two bolts in, in line here, which doesn't give it a lot of strength. I'm gonna put a toe curl on the end of this, which will give more stability front and back on this rear iron. So I debated on this front iron coming around in a gradual curve. I need to come out six inches. I am 41 on my seat base. I need to be 53 overall, so I've got a 12 inch difference. So I need to come out six inches on both sides. So if I do a gradual bend like this, my upright piece has to stop in about this area. If I come out at a 90 and do a tighter bend, then my upright support for my bow can come clear down into here. So this is what I think I'll do. So with this style here, I need to be 30 inches in length. And then on my rear side, on the, the back bow, I'm gonna start out on my rear at a 48 inch piece and my front iron at a 30 inch piece.
Well, I guess I have the prerogative to change my mind. This was the first option, then I thought about this option, and then I changed my mind. I'm going to do this option. This is the same angle as the side arms on the rear seats. And then I'm going to do kind of a tighter bend right here. I couldn't see any reason why this had to be a 90 degree bend. So I changed my mind again and I'll come out here. So that's the angle that I made this iron at. So now I just need to make this curve up so that this comes out six inches from the side of the driver's box. So we'll see if we can get that to work. It always seems like it's a challenge to figure out where it should be. It's looking going to be pretty close. Looks like I need to go just a five more. I'm six inches there and I'm six and a quarter there. And we're five and seven eighths and five and seven eighths. So these are going to go in here about so. But you can see, if I connect the top right in this plane, it's going to be ahead of the driver's seat back. And that's already a short seat. So I'm going to take and heat it right in here and bend this top portion back while leaving this leg straight. So it'll take it away from hitting the driver in the back of the shoulders. Well, I think the height of this bow for the top is pretty close to what the pictures are showing. Kind of right in this shoulder neck area. You can see I've got this bow leaned back enough that I don't think it'll interfere with the driver. And I can lean on the back here, and I don't have the board in here yet, but I think it's going to work. The back bow, eh, I'm not quite so sure yet. Now the framework for this back bow, I do have leaned back enough to where I think 
the back edge of the bow is going to clear the back of the seat. I do have this joint here bent enough to where this is angling back, but I'm wondering if maybe I should do it a little more to lay this iron back closer to this framework of the seat. It would bring this back about another inch and then I would be able to take this iron and actually straighten it up. It would have a little bit of a lean to it, but not as much as it has right now. If I brought this back another inch, it would in effect put this too far back, but then I could, in this bend here, I could straighten that back up and have a little straighter framework here to my top and still be able to clear the back of my seat. So I think we're headed in the right direction. I just need to do some tweaking. Like I said, it's easier said than done. I'll not bother you with all that. But I think from the next step here, I can go ahead and put my lateral and get my two center bows framed in as well and maybe get this top completed next week. Appreciate you following along. Thanks for watching.